Hey guys, what's up? By Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and in this one, showing some highlights from the war against Annihilate. Um, pretty big war, a lot of great attacks. Some of them we're gonna see today. Um, some of them I'm gonna save for more specific attack strategy videos for Town Hall 9 and 10. So if you feel like you're not seeing as many attacks as you'd like, don't worry, um, because a lot more are gonna be coming out. Um, should be recording them actually. Uh, the same night as I'm recording this. Just get a bunch of videos recorded because there were so many great attacks and a lot of things to learn from. Um, this first one, a nice dragon attack. I like how identifying, you know, the expos are on ground uh, makes it easier to use dragons for sure. His heroes can grab that one air defense pretty uh, sneaky, how he wall breaks in there. Then on the opposite side, he can use a few loons and a hound to create the funnel. Notice how taking out these three defenses not only uh, takes down defenses, including an air defense, which is important, but it also, um, those three defenses create a nice funnel um, and they force the loons um, and the dragons, more importantly, towards this area of the base to get the town hall. Um, so good base identification. Um, just so you guys know, uh, there are a few outstanding uh, Patreon perks that I'm going to be getting out soon. It's mainly the, the uh, Patreon base building video, so base review and Q&A being answered. I'm As usual, I'm behind on that. Um, but I, I did get all the war bases sent out, so hope you guys enjoyed those and hope they work out well for you. And I'll be finishing off the last few Patreon perks very soon um, in case you were wondering about that. So that being said, this town hall is barely going to go down, but it will. Um, this last dragon here uh, gets a shot from that air defense, then gets out of range, gets pushed by these sweepers, um, just getting harassed up there. But... Um, gets the town hall and then a few troops on the outside, uh, baby dragon, I think it grabs that camp, yep, then the dragon gets the gold mine, so up to 54%, nice attack there to Zach, one to show one, um, 10v11 there, before we transition into a very, very um, slick 10v10 here, this is uh, Gumex, and this was a very fun attack to watch. Um, dragons have become a, a way to take out a base that's otherwise set up to defend against a lot of different strategies. It's, you know, it's good against Laloon, good against miners, uh, good against witches, stuff like that. Um, but you can exploit certain bases um, using this strategy, and that's what he's going to do here with a queen walk. Gets an air defense already. He's going to go for three air defenses on this queen walk. Pretty crazy stuff. <clears throat> um, so wall breaks um, in for that second air defense. Important, he gets the wall breaks in soon so the uh, healers don't get shot down. That one air defense I think is going to pick off at least one of his healers here. Um, the king goes down, tanking for defenses. Also going to help tank for some extra wall breaks coming in just a moment. A little bit risky here because the queen is thinking about um, possibly going through the wall there. As you can see, there's nothing else she can target. She can't reach that inferno. I think she might have been able to reach that gold. No, she couldn't reach that either. So um, it actually worked out okay, but she started shooting a wall at first. Luckily, I think a Tesla popped or something, and as she retargets, she's going to go the right way. So very clever the way he thought this through, knowing the queen can't step up for the inferno or anything like that. Uh, the pathing works out, the king tanking. All a very well thought out uh, queen charge here. And now she's going to come around the corner. Three expos and two Teslas. Uh, needs to pop the ability. I don't even think a rage would have done it there. Uh, but such great value on this ability. Getting just a ton of defenses taken out. Uh, I think another healer goes down. So down to like one healer or something crazy like that. But the raged healer, don't underestimate it. Um, it can sustain a queen for uh, a short amount of time. And right here, she's out of range of all these defenses. So she gets healed back up. Dragon's coming in. Don't Doesn't even wait for the last air defense to go down to the queen because time, you have to be careful about it. And the air defense wasn't going to do a whole lot when it's just bombarded by all those dragons and loons. So it goes ahead and makes a smart decision to get things going when he did. Notice how the king has gone full circle on this base. Um, taking out countless buildings, which is going to help with time. The queen actually steps up here and gets the Inferno, which uh, was otherwise wrecking that dragon because all those air traps came out. These last few dragons are going to finish off the last few defenses. King and queen 
both up through the entire attack, not something you see every day in these uh, dragon attacks, especially when you use the king right at the beginning there. So awesome, awesome stuff. Love to watch this one. That's going to do it for the Town Hall 10 attacks we're going to show today. Um, but like I said, there's going to be an attack strategy video coming out. Uh, one for Town Hall 10, one for Town Hall 9, hopefully, if I can get everything straightened out here. So moving on to a few Town Hall 9s. Going to keep it short. Just two attacks. This one was funny because it had a swag P.E.K.K.A. in it. I believe he forgot to put the P.E.K.K.A. in with the kill squad. Uh, but regardless, it was a nice attack in such a wide funnel. But that's how you want to do it. Just take out this trash and give your bowlers nowhere to go but into the base. The funnel is very important because it's it's gonna it's gonna help your all your non-defense targeting troops like your heroes, your um, P.E.K.K.A. If you drop the P.E.K.K.A. If you have Valks, um, Bowlers, it's going to help all of that go the correct way. And it's also going to help take out flanking defenses because oftentimes you can get those during the funnel. So he has quite a few Wizards. A few will get picked off, but for the most part, they'll kind of hang out there. They all get on that Lava Hound. It's actually kind of funny because the Queen, I believe, is intended to go inside the base here. I, I don't think he was trying to create the funnel and let her die just because he used so many Wizards. Um, and if he was trying to leave the Lava Hound, he would not have used all those wizards. So the queen actually does her own thing, but it works out fine because it takes out that entire kind of left flank. So on the right side, there's just like a few wizard towers, but really the golems are taking all the main defenses head on. So the bowlers, the king are protected. Uh, that Pekka would have done some nice work on the king and into those other defenses had he dropped it, but no big deal. Nice heal spell on the bowlers' wizards as all those defenses locked onto them. Then comes in with more hogs, or I guess pretty much always hogs, and a heal spell for them. So crushes that entire side of the base, which was really set up to defend um, and be kind of a stronghold with that Tesla farm. Crushes it with both those heal spells, which was a smart thing to do because now he has a ton of troops left up. Uses the P.E.K.K.A. to tank a few defenses. Pretty expensive 25 troop space tank. Could have got pretty similar value for just a giant probably. But uh, that's part of the swag lifestyle, I guess. Nice attack to uh, Atu-SK. New members, um, we had a merge. I'll have to talk about that probably in an upcoming video. But that's if you see a lot of new members, that's what it's going to be. That's where they're coming from typically is from the uh, merge with Swarm Synergy. So not going to talk about that in this video, but I think I'll be able to give some more information in an upcoming video, uh, possibly with some more people on the channel to talk about it who know more than I do about the merge. So one more attack for you guys, then we'll wrap this thing up. Base number 36. I wanted to get an air attack at Town Hall 9 because in it's one hive genesis, it's kind of weird, but we don't see that many air attacks at Town Hall 9. Um, but when I look at other clans, especially clans we face in CWL or when I was recording attacks for CWL, I always saw way more air attacks at Town Hall 9 in other clans than I do in Genesis. I guess it's just a kind of a one hive Genesis thing that we do a lot of hog attacks. Obviously, hogs are probably the most popular strategy, but they are by far the most used uh, more so than in other clans from what I've experienced. So right here, I think the king goes on a walk, which was unintended. Um, had he gotten to the base, he might have even got the defensive queen taken out. But he'll go on a walk. He'll engage the uh, defensive king. Meanwhile, the queen will still go, go in and get the value he wants, which is the two air defenses. Notice how he has the skelly spell because he is... Um, He's anticipating that the queen might, you know, stay in her compartment, or I guess in this case, the king won't even go into the base at all. So needs that skelly spell to take out the queen before she does too much damage to his loons. Pops the king's ability. I don't think he'll get a whole lot of value because the defensive king locks on pretty quickly. So not a whole lot from his king, but gets the two air defenses from his queen, which is very important. Um, some unfortunate loon pathing because I think the queen took out more on the left side than he intended. So no defenses really led the balloons into that expo. So it they kind of bypass it. It stays up at half health. Meanwhile, the balloons are going through the rest of the base in flying colors. Really, they have they have plenty of hit points. And that heal spell is going to ensure they don't go down to the wizard tower red bomb combination on the back end. It just works out that the expo is still up. Even though he has a ton of loons, they just missed it due to that pathing. So they'll come back for it. It's going to take a little bit longer to clean up the base, but he has some minions down, has a few pups. 
everything works out in the end, and the loons do a good job staying inside the base, taking out those um, annoying hero altars, um, because oftentimes the CC, the hero altars, stay inside the base, and nothing ends up taking them out, but in this case, the split was pretty nice on the cleanup troops, and everything works out very nicely for Andy. So that will do it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, got two more planned uh, to record very soon and get those going out over the next few days. Also, that Patreon video should be coming out relatively soon. So that's all what's coming up, but thank you guys for watching. I will do my best to respond to some of the comments more. I've been slacking a little bit, but I should try to get back into the comment section, talk to you guys a little bit more, um, keep the uh, community alive down there. So I appreciate all the support, and uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Bisectatron out.